Good morning and welcome to Life's Dream number 114 special highlights. <laughs> Story time. So? So. <laughs> Welcome to... Live stream number 114. Four. Special highlights of the Randy Corky Show. Now, this is something mm. that we did on Facebook the other day and really liked it. It was a whole Facebook Live thing, a yes. surprise pop-up. And we thought we would do the surprise pop-up and then use most of that for this life's dream. It didn't work because the Facebook quality wasn't good enough and just right. weird stuff was happening. Correct. And there were other reasons. So we're going to reenact as far as we could remember sharing with you the highlights of the upcoming show with Corky Siegel, that's me, and Randy Sabine. That's not me. <laughs> hosted by the Acorn. I'm Acorn. <laughs> He's corny. <laughs> and, uh, corny. <laughs> and also hosted by Holly. And uh, so we're going to start out by giving you just the whole introduction to the show that's happening. Yes. Saturday, April seventeenth at seven Central Time, eight Eastern and five Pacific Time. So we hope you'll join us because it's really great fun. And we'll put it in the comments and in the yes. description of this live stream, and we'll put it in the chat and everything. Right. And we'll mention it maybe eight or ten or twelve more times at least. But let's start with. I'm going to take you to my. I'm going to take you to my Final Cut Pro mm -hmm. where the video is sitting and the highlights. And I'm going to play for you the whole introduction to At Home with Corky Siegel and Randy Sabine. So here we go. Welcome to the little town of Three Oaks, Michigan, and the Acorn. Corky Siegel performed here a few times as a solo artist, a number of times with duets and trios, 
as well as with the Siegel Schwal Band and Chamber Blues and many special Chamber Blues guests. And now he's very excited to introduce Randy Sabine. When Corky first appeared at the Acorn, we did not have enough seats in the theater to accommodate all the walk-ups. Corky didn't want to turn anyone away, so he made room on the stage and invited everyone up there with him, to their surprise and delight. He left no one out in the cold. The Acorn is now being renovated, and right now there are literally no seats available. So, in the spirit of inviting you up on the stage, Corky and also Randy Sabine are both going to make room for all of you right in their homes. No one will be left out in the cold. And though you won't be able to enjoy the newly refurbished seats in the beautifully renovated acorn, you will certainly be able to recline in your favorite chair with your favorite drink, your dog, your cat, and a bowl of popcorn, if you wish. Okay, so that was our little <laughs> hometown kind of intro. Uh, and now we're going to show you a highlight. I, the, I'm going to say this is one of my favorite parts but every one of these are <laughs> one of my favorite parts. That's why we're calling it highlights. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so just expect me to say, this is my favorite part. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. So this is, well, no, I, let, let's explain it. So, so uh, Randy sent me this song. He was just playing piano. It's something he had done a long time ago. And a song he had written, it was after the pandemic started. He had written this song and played it mm -hmm. uh, that summer, actually, mm -hmm. summer of 2020, and sent it to me, and he was doing it on his Yamaha electric piano. Well, I have a Yamaha electric piano. So Holly and I decided we are going to line up the pianos to make it look like one piano, like both Randy and I are playing one <coughs> piano. Now, the song is called Rev It Up. And it's about chainsaws and 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 lawnmowers, lawnmowers and leaf blowers, leaf, yeah, every the, noisy machine you yeah. can possibly think of that happens every spring and summer and fall. People get out there and <laughs> yeah, wake rev up it up <laughs> six a.m. You know what I mean? So he has this hilarious song about it. We're not going to play really any of the song, just some of the riffs. But what happened is Holly and I are walking around and we saw a guy with a leaf blower and I pulled out the camera and I just held the camera up, boom, and I just held the camera straight across the street and just filmed and what happened was hysterical on its own. But with Randy and Randy, you know, gave an introduction to his song, not having any idea that there was this other film clip that we were going to so stick So we got to it. surprise him. Yeah, so we got so. to surprise him also. So here it is. Here we go. <laughs> let, me, let me do this again. Okay, back here. Okay. You know, in the, in the summertime, there's never a day and never an hour goes by where you can't hear a lawnmower a leaf blower, a weed whacker. And it might be right next door, or it could be, you know, down the block. Or it could be a few blocks away. You can hear a chainsaw. You can hear people constantly cutting things down. And I finally had to write a song about it. It's called Rev It Up. So you can cut it down.
so this is where I talk about the advantages to not being tethered to the stage. And I'll explain further. Like on a stage, I wouldn't be able to do this. Or this. Or this. Or go swimming on the lawn and race kayaks. So I want to share with you how that scene happened with the kayak. So Holly and I are walking along in the park and we see this kayak school, but they're teaching people how to row their kayaks in the, on the lawn in the park, which seemed a little strange. <laughs> and I had my shorts on and I thought, you know, I got to take advantage of this. And I said, Holly, start the camera, start the iPhone, start the smartphone. And so I ran over there and I laid in the grass and I started swimming along with the kayaks. I thought it was funny. So Randy sent us a little video that was so hysterical, we didn't know exactly how to use it. So I asked the question, well, how is Randy doing right now? How is Randy coping with this? But one must wonder, how is Randy coping? Welcome to the kitchen. Sorry I'm late. Guess, uh, you've already helped yourself to the mimosas, I see. And today's special. Today's special is, um, I guess it's aged oatmeal. If you want it heated up, I guess you could, could do that for you. Gonna play some music for you. And of course, we added our own little teapot pose. Teapot teaser. <laughs> yeah, teapot teaser. And this is a little section in Billie Jean uh, that I just sort of like the way the rhythm came out in this and the way uh, Holly did the shooting and the way Randy did the shooting and the way the whole thing came out sort of nice. We love the rhythm. Yeah. So Idaho Potato Man is an absolute quirky seagull repertoire favorite for everyone. And Randy adds just a really wonderful dimension, as you will see. And this, this uh, original 
clip is from 2014, shot by John Anderson. It's your studios. It's free on the internet. Uh, and that was 2014, and Randy time travels and gets to play on it. So here it is, and I th this is everyone's favorite. Here we go. So this next little highlight is, is where we're zooming with Randy and uh, he's always full of surprises, mm. always hysterical. And uh, we'll just let this one go. It speaks for itself. <laughs> hey, if you are uh, interested in this music, you can, we'll meet you out in the lobby and you can uh, purchase some CDs. And, yeah. Uh, I have a car for sale, I'm not driving it much anymore. So. <laughs> What do we usually do when we end a show? 
uh, we stand up and we bow and we we gloat and the audience is applauding and then they want another tune and oh. play an encore and then we will see we'll see you out front and um this is the feast Teresa songs <laughs> yeah. so uh have a sleep at the wheel is also uh <laughs> as as really Another this is my favorite, favorite too <laughs> so this one um Corky tells a little story about a, a particular lyric line that has troubled him, and Randy just gives the most wonderful response that is fall on the floor, <laughs> fall off your seat, yeah. hilarious, and, as you will see. Yeah, I, I, I always thought this little story that I tell is really hysterical, and it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> and Randy sent a video to fit with it, mm. and it is so, he does nothing, just a little <laughs> panning, a little wink of the eye. Oh no, it's hilarious. <laughs> and it is so funny what I did here, even though in the show itself, uh, you could see me telling the story and Randy doing his panning. His thing. <laughs> but uh, in this one, just for you, I just focus on Randy alone. I could just watch Randy and nothing else. This is always so hysterical. Really enjoy this, okay? Oh yeah, these pretzel sticks and bennies, that's this part. I wrote this, excuse me, Randy, sorry. I wrote this with James Lee Stanley. And this one line that he wrote, these pretzel sticks and bennies, is a drug reference. This was written in the early 70s. I, I, I felt a little funny about it, so I tried to change the words for that verse. These pretzel sticks and candy it just didn't sound right. These pretzel sticks and uh, gumbies, you know, nothing seemed to work. And so sometimes I would just leave the verse out. And it made me feel so guilty because James Lee wrote that verse. And then a couple of years ago, I get this email from a fan who says, I love that song, Half Asleep at the Wheel. And I especially love that verse where you say, that line where you say, these pretzel sticks at Denny's. These pretzel sticks at Denny's don't give me much relief. I got one eye on the state patrol, the other eye is asleep. I'm half asleep about the Okay, so there's Holly over there. So we, that's a, you want to watch it again? <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm going to let the end of Half Asleep, Half Asleep at the Wheel play out, get to hear Randy's playing and you know us having some fun musically, because even though some of this stuff is really, really funny, there's a couple musical things too. <laughs> and so letting the end of Half Asleep at the Wheel play out and I just want to tell you, no, and, I'll, and then I'll explain it later. Okay, so here's the rest of Half Sleep at the Wheel.
So amazingly enough, when I fell on the horn, I never imagined in a million years that it was going to be in the key of G, the same as the song. It's just <laughs> unbelievable. The way stuff happens. You right? can't make it up. <laughs> no, and, and Randy playing the siren. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so when you're going to a live concert, of course, the weather can play tricks on you. Um, a raging snowstorm can occur while you, unbeknownst to you, comfortable sitting in the theater and then you come out to three feet of snow. Uh, well, spring has its own particular surprises. And um, this is something that you don't have to deal with because you are going to be in the comfort of your own home with your cat and your dog in your favorite chair and with a nice glass of wine. And this is um, a reenactment of what could have happened. <laughs> Thank you for having us in your home and coming to Randy and my home. We really enjoyed having you. I hope you enjoyed having us as much as we enjoyed having you. <laughs> well, maybe someday we'll meet in person. Think about it. The show's over. Now you got to get to your car. Just imagine that during the show, a big storm is brewing. And now, just imagine if you can, you're out there, you're caught in a big downpour, and not only can't you remember where you parked your car, but you can't even find your keys. Well, fortunately, with this format, you're home already. You're home already. Back to yeah. I love this. This is perfect. I love it. Otherwise, we'd be driving in a rainstorm. We have to, to drive through those conditions. This is just like ridiculous. Zoom, you don't have to do that. You can stay home. So basically, I got in the shower, as you see, with the umbrella. And then I, I said to Randy, I said, Randy, you got to get in, in your shower with an umbrella for this scene. And he had no idea what the scene was about. And so he wears a raincoat. And his, again, his facial expressions very, very funny. are just enough, I'll tell you. So uh, that's it. Yeah. Normally at a concert, um, you know, they, they, they do the encore, they go to the, the CD table, what have you. So this is a virtual concert. So what do you do? How do you this say goodbye? This is all new, new yeah. territory. So. How do you say goodbye to the audience? How do you yeah. do it? So I asked that of Randy and... He came up with the perfect answer. So here's the goodbye highlight. So how would we say goodbye if we're not on a stage, but we're doing a virtual-ish video? We'd stand up. Wow. Thank you. And we'd leave. Then we come back. Woo! Yes, thank you again. <laughs> so on the left is Chuck Osgood. He does most of the live concert photography uh, for Corky and his projects. And Chuck is a phenomenal photojournalist uh, with the Chicago Tribune for many years. He's now retired. He has published books on his photography, check him out. Uh, of course, that's Corky in the middle. And to the right is Ibrahim, Ibrahim Parlak. And Ibrahim has one of the most exquisite restaurants. It is Cafe Gulistan in Harvard, Michigan. And he is chef extraordinaire. And a brilliant guy, just beautiful. Wonderful human being. And if we want to move on, Want to talk about and for breakfast, 
is uh, Luisa's Cafe, and we never miss having breakfast at Luisa's Cafe when we are in Three Oaks, Michigan, and uh, that is the lovely Luisa. And of course, uh, Randy uh, keeps us in hysterics always. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's okay. it. Yeah. We, I think we're finished. So that was our story time and our live lives life's dream number 114 114 but uh please join us on Saturday April 17th 7 p.m. Central 8 p.m. Eastern Time and 5 p.m. Pacific Time. So I hope you will join us Corky and Randy will be there for a live Zoom after the concert. And uh, we can't wait to see you Saturday, April 17th. Yay. <laughs> I remember. But let me just say this. I have more to say about this. We did a lot of this show in Three Lakes, Wisconsin, very northern Wisconsin, and I think in November. And then in December, I think we did, we, it was December when we did it at Cafe Carp in Fort Atkinson, we love Cafe Carp, and just had a ball. And so a lot of people have seen it twice already. And we have no questions that they will want to see it a third time. If you have never seen it and are wondering if you should see it or not, you should talk to the people that have seen it twice already. <laughs> and and it's, it's, it's a little bit different. So this is... Um, We've added stuff. Uh, Corky and Randy Show 2.0. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, so we're, uh, we're going to go to Zoom now. See you on the Zoom. See you on the Zoom. Bye. Bye. Yeah.